how would a makeup look like on brown skin if it was originally meant for fair skin? Let's find that out. Hello guys, namaste, how have you been? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be trying out Zendaya's SAG Awards look. I'm thinking of doing these videos as a series where I'll be trying out different celebrity looks from Hollywood. I feel these videos would be real interesting and fun to explore how, you know, a particular makeup look would translate from a fair skin to a deeper skin tone. Of course, for the base makeup, I'll be using makeup products, the base products that are meant for my skin tone, like for foundation, concealers and setting powders. And the rest of the makeup that goes on the eyes as blush for bronzing, I'm going to stick to the colors these celebrities have used. So let's begin the Zendaya's amazing SAG Awards makeup look. She wore a stunningly beautiful pink Valentino gown, colorful Bulgari jewelry, wearing a diamond choker necklace with green, orange and purple gems as well as a diamond cuff bracelet. And for this video today, I'm just going to match the makeup and rest everything the outfit um jewelry would be only inspired i already finished my skincare before i sat filming for this video all the products that i used in my skincare and now i will be using for the makeup i will put them as affiliate links in my description in case you're interested go check them out I'm using here the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer with primer and moisturizer in one it also has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide the one I'm using here is a sample. You can apply it all over your face. It can also be used in place of moisturizer though. By the way, very interestingly, when I was reading about her look and I was trying to find, you know, what kind of products she used, I came across this website, Who What Wear, and it is for the Zendaya SAG Award Makeup 2023. And they have listed each and every single product that they have used in the, you know, in creating this whole amazing look. And also they have put down, you know, small notes around every product of how they have used it on her face or, you know, where exactly they've used it on her face. So it will be a big help here to create this kind of a look and see how it turns out on my skin tone. So after using the Smashbox primer, I'm going ahead with a makeup setting spray. Doing so, it will help the layer of primer to stay intact and in place. And once the makeup setting spray is like 70 to 80 percent dry, I'll go over with a dampened sponge and pat it all over. This will also help my foundation to stick better to my skin. For her foundation here, they have used this Lancome Taint Ethol Ultra Wear, which is a foundation with sunscreen SPF 15. It says it is up to 24 hour wear foundation and it is transfer resistant. Also, if you check on Lancome websites, it is a medium to buildable coverage foundation. And for my makeup base today, I'm going to use these two foundations from L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour. It is a foundation with matte finish. And the other one is going to be Clinique Even Better Makeup SPF 15. I'm mixing the two foundations so I get a shade that's closer to my skin tone. And this is a new technique I found recently and I love it so much. Whenever you start applying foundation, keep it focused first at the center of your face and then whatever is left, you can take it to the outer periphery of the face using the same beauty sponge. Like this, your foundation, your makeup would look very much like your skin. I'll just take a little more to add some extra where I feel I need more coverage. And then using the same dampened beauty sponge, I'll go ahead and blend it. I always take a good amount of time to blend my foundation. Now moving on to priming the eyes, I'm using here Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion in the shade Aiden. Primers help to make the eyeshadow colors pop and also help them stay longer without any creasing. Next, I'm going to use a concealer here just under my eyes, very small amount around my mouth and some other areas. I'm using here Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer.
and then with whatever is left on the beauty sponge I'll use it over my eyelids. To set my base I'm using here Hourglass Ambient Setting Powder. I'll go ahead and lightly dust it all over my face. From here they move on to the bronzer and they are using star bronzer long lasting bronzing powder and it looks like a very peachy shade however the one that I have the bronzer that I usually use isn't as peachy so I'll mix these two shades here. They dusted this golden toned bronzer on the edges of Zendaya's face on her cheekbones and on the sides of her nose. Let's see how it looks on me. As you can see, I'm being very light-handed here because it is the first time I'm using a peach color bronzer on my face and I don't want to make any mistakes. So I'm going and adding on little by little. I'll go ahead and add it to the sides of my nose as they did it for her as well. So that was the bronzer, let's move on to the blush. For blush they have used blush subtle oil free powder blush and the makeup artist only kept it on the apples of her cheeks and this blush looks also quite peachy. So I have a shade which is very close to this, it is from Pretty by Flormar blush and it is in the shade, it's called something, it's called peach love. And there are two shades in here. I'm going to go ahead with the lighter one because that's what it looks like. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for my bronzer. Usually when I wear this blush, I mix both of these colors because I feel this one is too light for my skin tone. But let's see how it looks. How uh, It will be an experiment today. And they say just the apple. So I'm going to smile so, you know, I know where to place my blush exactly. I usually apply blush onto my temples and also extend it to the cheekbone but today we are just uh, keeping it the entire way. Moving on to the eyes, I already did my primer. I chose to kept it like that, you know, a little bit of uh, the primer showing through my foundation or concealer because the color they used here is like really light and that's why I did my base little light. So even when I'm, even when I don't have the same shade, alternate color that I'm going to use here will somewhat match to the shade that they have used. I'm using here the same setting powder that I used to set my face. I use it as an eyeshadow here and I feel it is just the exact shade to match. Also as you can see I'm just keeping it just below my crease like creating a cut crease kind of an effect. Also I'm adding this to the inner corner of the eye because later we have to add a pop of gold as done for the Zendaya's face. Now using a fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm going to just go over my crease so as to remove any harsh lines. However, there are a lot of things that are not mentioned in this uh, link but it looks like looking at Zendaya's image that it, she does have a little bit of a darker pink or a peachy shade right here and also it is taken along her nose. I'm going to do that using the same palette uh, e.l.f. which is a blush and eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use the same colors that I used for my bronzer. Now they go with a pop of shimmer uh, added this golden eyeshadow to Zendaya's brow bone and the inner corner. So we are going to do the same. I'm going to use the same brush, just the opposite side. I'll go ahead and use this one from this NK Cosmetics palette. Glitters and shimmers can really give you fallouts on your uh, you know, cheeks while applying it on the eyes. So what I'm doing here is taking the glitter on the back of my hand, rubbing it and making it smooth and then applying it to the eyes. Doing so, I'm applying a very minimum product at a time. I can go over and add on as I like. 
Later, they move on to the lashes and using a voluminizing and lash lifting mascara. Here, I'm going to use the Essence Double Trouble Mascara. It gives you definition and volume. This wand has two different kind of bristles like the big ones can be used to apply mascara on the upper lashes and the smaller ones can be used to apply it on the lower lashes. After applying the mascara, I'm going ahead with a tweezer and trying to create a doll-like effect just like they've created for Zendaya. For my brows, I'm going to use the Essence Brow Powder in the shade Dark and Deep. Just like I do it usually, I'm going to fill in the center and then take it to and fro. What I'm trying here, the new thing is, I'm going to extend it a little in the inside corner. I think that's a very prominent feature of her face. I'm not sure though how it's gonna look on my face. For lips, I'm going ahead with my Luna Cosmetics lip liner. It is in a nude brown kind of a shade. Here, I'm slightly overlining my lips also. And then using a matte peachy shade to fill in the lips. I think I can add a little more pink to it. I'm using this MAC Cosmetics lip color. It looks too pink. I'm going to add some peach color to the lips. I'm going to use the same palette and with using the same brush but on the but from the other side. Now before I add on gloss to my lips, I want to do my hair because after doing the gloss, it would be difficult to do my hair. So I'll quickly do my hair and be back. So looks like my hair <laughs> kind of, kind of similar, same, no way. Let me see if I can do something more with my hair and uh, I'll just quickly change and be back and then do my gloss. Otherwise it would be really difficult. It will just be all over my clothes so just give me a moment so that's how the look turned out i feel um i have very mixed feelings about it some of the makeup i really liked and some I think it is not very well suited for Indian skin tone like a peachy bronzer I think if it was my regular bronzer which is more brown it would have looked much better I'm happy with how the lashes look but I must tell you they're not very comfortable and even for the brows because I'm not habitual of looking at myself you know with these long long brows you know something that extends in the middle because I usually have a good space between them so it looks a little different i wouldn't say i hate it but i think i'll need some time to like it if i keep doing it i don't know but i'm happy that i tried experimented something new something different and it looks different from my other makeup and yeah that was all for today and i'll see you all in my next video until then stay tuned stay beautiful